In our first example, they say that we must convert a nominal rate of 18% per annum, compounded monthly, that is very important, to an effective uh, yearly rate. So this uh, annual effective rate, that annual stands for the yearly rate, the annual effective rate. So what must we do? The nominal rate is 18% per annum. It's compounded monthly, and we want to find the effective yearly rate. Let's do this calculation. To convert this nominal rate of 18% compounded monthly to the annual effective rate, we first of all need to look at the formula. Our formula for this conversion is 1 plus i, and you remember i represents our interest rate normally, and this one is the effective one, so that's why we do that little effective subscript there. So 1 plus i effective is equal to 1 plus i nominal over n to the power of n. So when you look at this formula, you will notice that there are no amounts involved here. So it's not about how much money you're going to invest. It's also not for how long you're going to invest it. This formula is only about converting interest rates. So we want to find the effective interest rate, that is the, the annual rate or the yearly rate, if we know the nominal rate. This n and the exponent of n, that is how many compounding. And that you will remember, we discussed that before. It can be monthly, then your N and that N will be 12. Quarterly it will be 4. Half yearly it will be 2. And that is all you need to do. So for this first example, they ask us to find the effective yearly rate. If the nominal rate is 18% and it's compounded monthly, so our N will be 12. Let's substitute. So what we will do is we will say 1 plus my nominal rate is 18%. We divide it by 100. So it's 0 0,18 over 12 to the exponent of 12. And that is how we find the effective rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our calculators. We're going to calculate this bracket. We're going to move this 1 across. So we're going to subtract 1. And that will give us our I for the effective rate. To find the rate, the percentage, we will just multiply the answer by 100. Let's do it quickly. So take your calculators and let's see if you can do this one. So first of all, we use our brackets. So we say 1 plus. I use my fraction button, 0 0.18. The denominator is 12. You move away, you close the bracket, and you raise it to the power of 12. And the answer that I've got here is 1,1956181.71. I just wrote down all the decimals, and I think I've got it correct. And this is my 1 plus i effective. So to find my effective interest rate, I'm now going to subtract both sides by 1. So you will agree we will get 0, 0,1956181.71. If we want now the rate in terms of, an, of a percentage, and that is now, remember, our effective rate, our yearly rate, we will multiply by 100, and we will get 19, comma, if I round it off to two decimals, 5.6%. So this is that represents now your yearly effective rate. Remember, the nominal rate quoted was 18%, and the calculation was monthly. So can you see on a yearly basis, you finally will receive more than 19% interest. Matter of fact, 19,56% interest. And that is the effect of the monthly compounding. So because of the fact that we do the monthly compounding, it means we finally will get a higher interest rate on a yearly basis. And that is why these compoundings are so important. Let's now look at the second part of this question.